What's going on, we gamers? Today we're back with some more Outriders World Slayer. We've had the latest update, some classes have taken a bit of a beating, and there's been a lot of changes. Which weapon mod should you be looking out for now that everything's changed up in order to make a truly powerful build? Well, that's coming up next. Welcome back everybody, like I said, today we're going to be looking at some of the truly powerful weapon mods, ones that you should be looking out for in order to make a powerful build. These are going to be almost must-haves in a lot of your variation of builds, so which ones should you be looking at now in order to get the most damage and such. Now as always, if this content does help you, a like would be much appreciated, and if you'd like to become a member of the channel or follow me over on Twitter, then why not hit that subscribe and bell icon, or follow me over in that link. But for now, let's jump into the most powerful mods you should be looking at for a truly powerful build. So one weapon mod that has always been worth looking at and now has been improved, and that's Fortress. Shots increase your current armor and resistance by 5%, stacking up to three times. At maximum stacks, the buff is doubled, and additionally, now grants you 25% damage increase for 10 seconds, with a 0.2 second cooldown. The reason that's so good is because they've put a big old nerf on some of the things that people have been using in order to keep themselves alive. One of the main one was self-medicated, absolutely amazing, it made sure you just smashed through any of the content. Nah, that is nowhere near as good as it was. If you're struggling for survivability, if you're struggling to keep yourself on your feet, Fortress not only gives you that little bit of tankiness, but it's also had its damage increased from 20% up to 25%, now making it one of the very best mods in the game, even though before it pretty much was classed as that anyway. Nah, it's just even better. Up next, and we have one of my personal favourites, and that's Defra Gnome. There's no weapon mod that quite does what this does. It doesn't work in every single build, so be a little bit careful, but when it does come together, this manages to boost exactly what you're doing absolutely massively. And now with the buffs that you've kind of got in your skill tree to obviously anomaly and firepower, it means that hybrid builds are very, very good. So you might as well take advantage of things like this when you can. When two of your equipped skills are on cooldown, receive a certain amount of firepower, which is actually a big amount of firepower, otherwise receive a large amount of anomaly power. Like I said, if you can manage to work this into your build, you can have a massive amount of anomaly power or firepower depending on what you're going for. Sometimes you'll be able to use both when they're intended, for example on your skill use and when you're shooting, depending on how your skill layer is set up. One that I think absolutely shines now and a tier 2 is this one just here, Anomaly Enhancement. You're going to be finding that there'll be quite a few hybrid builds coming there, a lot's going to be invested in firepower, obviously we've had a lot of buffs and they want to shift the meta a little bit. Anomaly Enhancement allows for that, especially if you do still really enjoy playing with those skill uses. Receive a passive firepower boost equal to 40% of your anomaly power. If you still want to hit exceptionally hard with your skills, but you need to do a little bit more damage because now, like I said, the meta does seem to be shifting a little bit more towards firepower, or at least they're trying to put it more in line, Anomaly Enhancement can definitely help you to sway that way, and it can make a lot of hybrid builds very, very viable. This, I think, will be something on a lot of weapons now, and I think it may well be one of the most used mods for quite some time. Hand in hand with that, and now an absolute beast that you will have to probably try and fit into some variation of your build, and that's going to be Dark Sacrifice. During combat, your weapon drains up to 25% of your max health in exchange for 35% weapon damage bonus. Now, it might not sound like that much, it's still not back up to the old days where it was an absolute monster but it is probably one of the main things you're going to have on any firepower build. Chuck this on your gun and you will not regret it. Also, if you listen to the stats, they've changed it drastically. Before it was 50%, it was a bit of a biggie, you will find yourself falling over often, and now we've lost a bit of tankiness. So making it just 25% and giving us 35% damage from this rather than the initial 25 makes this much more viable and makes it a perfect choice on any really high powered firepower build. Last but definitely not least, do not count this one out, even though it's not going to be doing what it was doing, Mage's Rage is still ridiculously good. It is the top mod if you've got an anomaly build for just boosting it up. 
Critical shots grant a 10% anomaly power boost for 15 seconds and stacks up to four times. 40% is a massive amount of extra anomaly power, and if you're managing to get a lot of anomaly power from elsewhere, this is definitely worth having on your weapon. I know it doesn't do what it did before, it was very overpowered before and made the game a lot of fun for those anomaly builds. Nah, it just works as intended, but even as intended, Mage's Rage is probably still the best thing you're going to want on any anomaly build that you can chuck on your weapon. This with a perfect setup, so for example if you could get this plus Defranome plus Anomaly Enhancement probably if you were going for a hybrid build busting it into firepower, or this plus Defranome plus Omen, or if you didn't want Omen plus Fortress, if you could ever manage to get any kind of those variations then you're absolutely living the dream and you're able to dish out a ridiculous amount of damage and have a lot of fun while you do it. But yeah, like I said, all of these will probably be a massive staple still and all will help you to get a little bit of anomaly power or hybrid power or just firepower if you're after it. So it will work amazing in pretty much any build you're going for. Well, you gamers, hopefully that's helped a few of you out. I'll be bringing out more content. As always, for all things gaming, for all things Xbox. Take care. I'll see you on next day.